people have remained faithful to the ideals of our forebears and true to our founding documents. Okay. We're in a crisis. We're in trouble. I need you to help me save our founding documents. I need you to save America. It's been you that saved America in the past. I'm Barack Obama. I want to save America. Work with me. That means do what I say. Go along with our agenda. Which from A to Z is to hand over our sovereignty. Attack other nations. Have a domestic police state. I mean, do you see what he's saying while they are butchering the Bill of Rights and Constitution? but paying lip service to it? So it has been, so it must be with this generation of Americans. That we are in the midst of crisis. Again, he's saying we're going to always be like we were before, the freedom. So it was, so it must be. When in reality, see, it was all about change. Now he's saying America, dedication, honor, our history, our, 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 our sacred uh, conventions and canons. And then he's, well, I mean, just wait, it just gets more and more incredible. But again, one of the best written speeches ever, he didn't write it. He's there reading off a teleprompter, but delivering it with great aplomb, with, you know, very well done. We're going to come back in a long segment, get to most of this, uh, just devastating to freedom. Posing that he's trying to save America while he's destroying it. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi, this is Steve Shank. eFoods does it again. The three-day responder provides one adult with three days worth of healthy, delicious, easy-fix food. The price of the three-day responder is almost ridiculous at $21.95 for actually 12 meals plus snacks. When you taste the food in the three-day responder, You'll understand why families trust eFoods Direct to provide healthy, delicious food for every need. Whether you're hunting, playing, or responding to an emergency, the food in the three-day responder is easy to fix and ready to go. Food is an everyday need. The three-day responder is for the time when food should be the last thing you have to worry about. The three-day responder, $21.95. Sometimes the best things do come in the smallest packages. Call 800-409-5633 on the web eFoodsDirect.com. That's 800-409-5633 on the web eFoodsDirect.com. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his M.O. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijackers' ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli intelligence network, warnings and war games, the shadow government, and much, much more. Fabled enemies. Get the DVD at Infowars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. You worry. You see the signs and worry about the future. You worry about economic turmoil and food shortages. How to be prepared while preserving your sanity. Your answer may be at hand. Author Linda Runyon lived off the land, isolated from civilization. She knows that as long as the sun shines, there will be plenty of free food all over God's green earth. Perhaps the only sane insurance is knowledge of wild edible plants. The cost of learning is minimal. Wild food grows everywhere and you will see it everywhere. It's every bit organic and more nutritious than our modern diets. Well respected in her field, Linda's approach to teaching this subject includes books, flashcards, and video with an emphasis on health, safety, practicality, and joy. Learn how to identify it, where and when to find it, how to prepare, use, and store it. Go to Linda's website, ofthefield.com, and take advantage of special offers. Or if you're not online, call her 24-hour toll-free order line at 888-51-EAT-FREE. That number again, 888-51-EAT-FREE. A little knowledge makes starvation impossible. Okay, let's go right back into the live transmission here, ladies and gentlemen, with our analysis uh, of what Barack Obama was really saying 
in his speech, trying to sucker the people in, do whatever I say, we're together, I want to save America, you want to save America, while he hands everything over to the private bankers that have engineered the major crises. It is now well understood. Our nation is at war against a far-reaching network of violence and hatred. Our economy is badly weakened. Okay, so he ties the economy being trouble to being at war with this far-reaching enemy. Then later he goes into how they're going to smoke them out of their holes. So right back to the Cold War, right back to the anti-terror. We're fighting the secret brotherhood of Emmanuel Goldstein, 1984, the guy with the turban and the big beard. And he ties that all in then next to the economy. Like we're fighting terrorists and we've got to fix our economy. See, that's psychology. They're nexusing the two together. network of violence and hatred. Our economy is badly weakened, a consequence of greed and irresponsibility on the part of some, but also our collective failure to make hard choices. Oh, oh, because of the greed of some. We have an article up there on Infowars.com right now detailing uh, that uh, Gethner, his, uh, his pick for Treasury Secretary, who doesn't pay his taxes, to the private banks that he works for, was involved in all the major brokerage scams. They ran the scams, and then now they're, quote, bailed out with your money but won't say where the money's going and say, we need another big bailout now to free up credit to you, the American people, which all that will do is then accelerate inflation. But if we're going to have inflation, why just have it to give it to the bankers? Well, we should might as well, you know, have some benefit from it. It's still going to be bad. But it's much worse this way. So, so listen, oh, the irresponsibility of some, namely everybody coming into my administration, and the, the fact that he got four times the overall contributions from Wall Street and from some of the big firms five times, like Goldman Sachs, than McCain got. And I'm not saying vote for McCain. The enemy owned both horses in the race, both fighters, like a Don King boxing match. But the one they wanted was Obama because, as Kissinger said, he has got this messianic... Uh, persona, very charismatic, so he can sell the New World Order worldwide, which is, I mean, he's saying it on TV, and the FBI training manual will say you're a terrorist if you say the, that the New World Order exists. But he's on CNBC saying it, and they're all saying it. So, see, he's saying one thing, but all his pundits and the people running him, they're arrogantly saying, this is a great opportunity for us, we're going to bring in the New World Order. So back that up, listen to that. Oh, irresponsibility of the bankers. Uh, you know, of some in high places, but all of us collectively. And again, any good lie has truth in it. It's true. We've been lazy. We've been stupid. We've been disconnected. We were dumb and, 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 and let people give us credit cards. You know, we didn't have a capacity to pay it back. But they did that because it was all fiat currency they began with. And they took those debt instruments and they sold the car debt and the credit card debt and the house debt to other investors as if it was a value as good as gold. So, see, they made the credit card debt up out of nothing that we, the taxpayer, back up. Did you know that? And then they buy up everything with it. It's just so sick. Of violence and hatred. Our economy is badly weakened, a consequence of greed and irresponsibility on the part of some, but also our collective failure to make hard choices. Wait a minute. The globalists promised us that globalism, NAFTA, GATT, letting countries have huge tariffs on us, but we couldn't have tariffs on them. That's the so-called free trade. Uh, where they have no environmental standards, nothing in China and India and Mexico, uh, and, and then slave wages, so that's not an equal playing field, so there's no way all the industry wouldn't leave. The globalists state in their own documents that was to get full control of our economy, so when they did implode it, that no one would have a way to protect themselves and everybody would fall under the control of the super state. So, see, because of the greed of a few and our collective, you know, b badness, no, the people in every major poll were against NAFTA and GATT, and they're against the SPP, that he's now saying he's going to expand the North American Union when he said eight months ago he was going to stop it. And then remember his handler in, in Canada, a speech said, don't worry, that's all rhetoric. And now Obama last week went on Stephanopoulos' show and said, yeah, it's just rhetoric. I mean, there's so many lies here, how am I ever going to play all this? It's just everything is deception. Everything is fraud coming out of this guy. So, oh, some bad people did this and you did this. We're all collectively bad. See, we're all together. You've got to do what we say. We're all guilty. No, we're not all guilty. 